Well, good morning, friends. Good morning, saints, on this Thursday morning. All cool, but not freezing cold. Uh, the sidewalk does have a little bit of ice on it. So it's, oh, I just slipped. <laughs> so it is cold, but not, uh, you know, not like minus 10 or anything. So, yeah, here we go. Let's go for a nice slow walk down to the river. Wouldn't want to slip and slide and hurt myself. I like to think I'm still young, but falling might prove different. So, you know, I'd rather just live in denial and not fall <laughs> and not have proof of my age. Oh, well. How are you doing today? I'm not getting a lot of response on these uh, videos. I'd love to hear from you. It's uh, very much a one-sided uh, communication, and uh, it's the one part about this I don't like. Um, I'd love to be engaging with you on this. But uh, let's uh, go down for a, a quick walk. Let me share with you the uh, kind of the lead into the scripture here of what uh, the Lord has laid on my heart. Reading through the Christmas story again, getting ready to preach on the weekend, and uh, it was uh, just noted again that quite a few times in the Christmas story, you know, angels appear to people to talk to them and whatever, and every time they do, the people are terrified. And I thought, you know, this idea of being terrified or being afraid, it's not new to us, and it is something that you know, we currently face as well. We we get afraid. We uh, we get terrified over certain things. And then the Lord really kind of brought it into my spirit that, you know, getting terrified of a divine being or a spiritual being is one thing. And I'd even dare say that's valid. You know, a messenger directly from God like literally sent from the spirit world down into this world and, you know, with a message from God Almighty, that's legitimately terrifying. But what is it that terrifies us? What is it that makes us afraid? There's a lot of people right now that are walking in fear over the news. You know, just things that people are doing, whether it's political or scientific or lack of science or, you know, rumors or whatever. And there are people who are in incredible fear. And the Lord really kind of called me to it and said, Mark, it's legitimate to be afraid when you have God Almighty speaking to you and calling you out on something. That's, that's legitimate. But the things of this world, allowing them to cause fear. And so then, I take you now to uh, the Word of God. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 6. So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? And I'd like to just take a little bit of liberty on the translation and say, what can mere temporal things do to me? The things of this world. Hey, you know all the verses. Greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world. Come on. We do not fear the things in this world because the Lord is with me. And if God Almighty, the Eternal, the Sovereign, is with me, then what in this world should I be afraid of? Of course, the answer is nothing. Zero. Walk with your head high, friends. Walk with your heart strong. Because God is still God. And this world is is just a simple creation. Father, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your spirit who is at work in us. And although we listen to the news because we want to be informed, Father, we do not fear 
the news. No, we ask for wisdom so that we might walk wisely. But Father, we also ask that your Spirit would fill us so that we might know your presence and know your power and not walk in fear in this temporary world. We love you, Lord, and thank you that uh, our life is much more than what we just see right now. Thank you. So much more, oh God. And so we're preparing ourselves now for better days ahead. With thanksgiving and with joy and with a smile on my face, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, saints. Have a joy-filled day today. God bless you.